your disadvantage. It really yeah. is. It is. And so I trust in the process and my life is amazing and things are unfolding and I keep get, getting better and better. And I would just love your help because when I envisioned my life, I envisioned a, a business which is thriving, which is what I have, and, and having a partner, which is someone who's amazing, and I have him too, and getting married. Can't and count having, on them, they die. <laughs> I know, luckily he's still here. <laughs> and getting married, and having fun, and having a baby, and doing all those fun things. And does anyone feel a big butt coming on? <laughs> and so what I would love your help with is knowing that there is no benchmark for which my age would allow when I'm ready to have a baby to be a factor. No, it's only what you believe. It's only what you practice thinking. Because if you keep worrying about that. I don't, then but then I look at my age and I feel young, but then, you know, I'm like, oh my, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to use that as. And yet you are right I now. I know, and I'm, I don't want to, so well, I. Stop it. Okay, all right. <laughs> Okay. I love In other that. words, is there someone on your tongue forcing those words out of your mouth? No, but where I, are they coming from? When you go to the doctor. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. And 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 I know like a lot of my life has not we like everything that you're saying, yeah. not just the part where you flatter us. No, but I, I mean it though. We like those opening words when you were talking about how well your life is going and we could feel the confidence that you had as you were speaking that and so why is this subject that you are now presenting here why is it an outlier to that confidence yeah yes because i am excited about having a baby i don't want one today but wait we want you to talk to us conceptually rather than specifically about the subject okay. Esther's daughter Tracy some years ago Tracy's been studying the law of attraction since she was 14 that's when Jerry and Esther met Abraham so Tracy's been at it for a long time and like you her life is going really really well and like everyone she has ups and downs and some wobbles too but mostly it goes really really well so one day she was at an Abraham gathering like this in San Antonio and a friend who she'd seen, they sort of rendezvoused at the annual San Antonio seminar. So she knew this guy, he'd been there frequently. And they often sat together and enjoyed telling each other stories of their individual motion forward and their deliberate creation. And Tracy was telling this friend that they were putting their house on the market and they'd found a new house. And she was talking about how she really didn't want to have to move twice. She really wanted her house to sell so that everything would be a smooth transition. And he said, so, law of attraction works with everything except real estate. <laughs> and Tracy left right out loud. She tells that story to everyone. She's told that story to her mother 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 times because it just shook her up so much that the problem that she had seems to be the exception to the law of attraction, but everything else, no. And so that's sort of what we're wanting to play back to you. It's the way we started today, that there's this reality that so many people are buying into that you're using as your justification for your limitations about things that you want. And what's really funny about this is that it isn't even something that isn't happening to you because someone is taking it away from you. What you're saying to us is I'm choosing not to do something that I want to do. And am I waiting too long in my choice of waiting that I won't get? And we say, doesn't that strike you as funny? Doesn't it strike you as funny that your inner being who knows who you are and knows what you want wouldn't let you go past that point? Doesn't it make perfect sense to you? It does. Doesn't it make perfect sense to you that everything's working out for you and that all the inspiration is coming and the things that you want and you're being guided to the path of least resistance? So if you're saying to us, I believe in my vortex and I believe in my connection and I understand my guidance system, but there's this just one thing I'm afraid might get by me. And we say, you can't have it both ways. 
It's either real or it isn't. It is real. Your guidance is either vivid or it isn't. It is vivid. You're either sensitive to your guidance or you're not. You're sensitive to it. So what your question actually was saying to us is Abraham there are beliefs in the world that are getting in my way and it bothers me every time I let the beliefs in the world get in my way and Abraham do you think I should let the beliefs of the world keep getting in my way no we don't well Abraham how will I prevent the beliefs of the world from getting in my way don't focus on them don't keep them active within you you get to choose what you think about haven't you noticed, you haven't noticed yet with children, but there are lots of children around, little children standing around, little children in everyone's lives. And haven't you noticed that when you say to a child, you can't do something that they want to do, they don't take it lying down. <laughs> they look at you like you're nuts. They're not having any of that. Esther was on an airplane the other day and there was a little girl that was so little, Esther couldn't even believe she was a whole person in a little body. She only stood about that high, but she could walk. She may have been speaking another language. Esther didn't hear her say anything, but she didn't want to be confined into her parents' arms. And so anytime that they could, they let her sort of run around. And she was right across the aisle from Esther, so she spent most of the flight standing next to Esther's seat, just looking up at Esther and Esther looking down at her. And Esther would wink at her and Esther would move her tongue around in her mouth and Esther was just doing things to entertain her and she wasn't showing any signs of really being entertained because in her world that's not so allowed but she was silently really enjoying Esther and Esther has a big ring that she wears on this finger and a big ring that she wears on this finger and so Esther put her rings over where the little girl could see them and the little girl touched one ring like a button and then she touched the other ring like a button and then she touched both rings at the same time. She could feel some sort of energy moving through Esther's body, through these rings into her body. And then she touched one ring and felt nothing and touched the other ring and felt nothing, and then touched both rings. And then she touched one ring and her own earring felt it again. She and Esther just had this conversation, this energetic conversation. What she knows at the core of her being and what Esther knows at the core of her being, their inner beings were having a conversation with each other. She was being inspired to action. Esther was being inspired to action. There are so many levels that you are being tended to. There is so much information that is coming to you. There is nothing that you cannot be or do or have. There is no limit to your ability to attract. It's everywhere. Esther's on an airplane with no entertainment in the headrest and a little angel of the world doing an energy demonstration for her at her seat. <laughs> I've come to you to demonstrate the flow of energy, you see. There are no limits to how you can be entertained. If the universe goes to that extent, don't you think that something is important to you as what you've defined that's been in your vortex for a very long time? You think you're going to miss out on that? Mm, no. And don't you feel silly for even worrying about it a little bit? Yes, I want to. Yes, yes, I do. I do. And, and again, like I said, that was the only thing that just, you know, when you go to the doctors and people say now about age. No, 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 Yes, you are. You're going to keep doing it. Feel, Why are you doing that? I feel good. I feel good. Um, we know that. We're just saying. Yes. That as long as the tendency is still there, then that's still active in your vibration. And as long as that's active in your vibration, then the energy isn't flowing. What we were talking about with that story is that there's energy flowing all around you. And those who are sensitive to it can feel it. You see, the easiest way to be sensitive to energy, this little being has to this point in her life, not offered any resistance. So she's still pure to the energy so she can feel it. It was so obvious to Esther that she felt it. She looked at Esther like, like, do you know that? Can you feel that? Do you know what that is? And Esther looked back at her and said, I know, I know, I know exactly what you're feeling. I know I get it. I understand it. And so if you're sensitive to the energy, that's a lovely thing, but at least be sensitive to your emotions. That story that you were telling hurts you every time you tell it. It would be like touching a hot stove. And instead of taking your hand away, just saying, well, my doctor believes this. <laughs> I know. It hurts like everything. I'd like to take my hand away, but my doctor believes that. In fact, <laughs> don't want him to think I don't believe him. 
Oh my God. I, I thank you so, so much. And I appreciate you so very much. And because of you, I live an amazing life. And so I thank you for choosing me and calling me up here today. Well, you're good for everyone because everyone's doing some of that about something. Thank you. And you know what? The things you care the most about are the things that you're most likely to be wobbly about. And that reason for that is the things you care the most about are the things you think the most about. And the things you think most about are the things that you are most likely to introduce the most resistance to. That's why meditation and getting out ahead of it is a really good idea. I love it. Thank yeah. you so much. Yes,